Hey there, it's Brittany, and I am back with a friend mail unboxing and the 9,000 subscriber giveaway um, video. So uh, I did a friend mail a while ago from Lisa, who also goes by Mama Bruce, and she's just the sweetest lady on the planet. She, her um, work is stunning, gorgeous, be unbelievably beautiful. But she reached out, she's like, hey, can I... Um, send you some stuff to give to your 9,000 subscriber winner and I was like yeah if you want to and so she was just really excited and um she also sent me a birthday present my birthday is in three days and it came today and I'm just so excited so first I'm gonna show you what she sent me and then I'm gonna show you what she sent for the lovely winner so I'm thinking this came for me this part and she sent me the cutest birthday card ever too so I'm just gonna open up um it looks like we have a few boxes here okay so i think this is oh my gosh this is really pretty i think this is a bracelet i'm almost positive it's a bracelet it's really pretty i love it that's really pretty and look at the colors we got turquoise and some check glass and uh you are way more patient than me because uh yeah i could never i could never do this so lovely oh beautiful thank you so much lisa um and then look at this this just came out of this little baggie this one it's for goldie omg i was just telling her she needed a new collar and this one is custom made for goldie oh my gosh i've never seen anything so cool in my entire life Thank you so much, Lisa. And it coordinates. It coordinates. Which now that I'm thinking about it, maybe this is a... Is this also a collar? Because they're both about the same length. So if they're both for Goldie, that's totally cool. I can, I, it looks like we can um, interchange them. <laughs> I can wear one as a bracelet and she can wear one as a necklace. So this one's a little longer for me. But I don't know. Let me know, Lisa. I'll put them both on Goldie. <laughs> but this is gorgeous. I've never seen such a beautiful dog collar in my life i keep telling her she is so spoiled and guess what now it's super true and we've got a cute little ring here a little puppy and a little dog bone oh my gosh that's going on her right away and i will put photos or and or a video of her wearing it on immediately oh my gosh that is so cute thank you lisa and then we've got something here Oh my goodness, look at that. I could never do that, that is amazing. Look at the spiral, I don't even know the name of this. Spiral something. Look at the cool colors, we got purple, pink and red and turquoise and gold. It's so beautiful, thank you so much Lisa, you are so talented. So gorgeous, I got some check in there. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, I, I don't even, I like my, my, I don't have words. It's so beautiful. And then, what's this? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look, it's a little chihuahua. It's a little chihuahua clay handmade bead. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh my gosh, she gives me that look once in a while too. So cute, so cute, I love it, thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness, what else is in here? Um, we've got some little uh, rose beads. Those are cool, I don't have anything that looks like that. I, I have a rose bead that looks like this, but it's not exactly like this, and I love this finish. It's my favorite, like, vitriol finish gorgeous gorgeous and then um we've oh we've got another rose same shape i'm wondering if these are check i think they are check and but it's like a oh this is beautiful it's like an ocean blue and it's matte i love it i love it i need to make a bracelet using one of, one of them <laughs> Then we've got some metal beads. Ooh, one's got 
um, black enamel. And I just got some of these from uh, Julie. She gave me two or three of them, but I think the ones she gave me were antique brass. So I love that these are antique copper. And we've got one that has antique uh, copper with green enamel. So cool. Those are fantastic. Huge focals. They're like the size of golf balls. How'd you get them in this tiny bag? <laughs> Love them. Thank you. And then the last thing in here are some more Czech glass flowers. I love those turquoise I've never seen this shape before that is so cool thank you so much Lisa I love it when um you know people share with me but also things that I haven't seen before I don't have anything like these 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 or these beautiful pieces that you made me my goodness I love them thank you so much from the bottom of my heart uh Lisa and I just gotta say this is my favorite <laughs> Because it's something I'm definitely going to see every single day because it's going on Goldie and it's not coming off unless she does something to it. But this thing is like sturdy. This is so cool. I didn't even know you could do something like this. Thank you so much, Lisa. Okay, so Lisa sent some beautiful friend mail, but I'm sure you're more interested in what she sent for me to give away. So let me clean this up and we'll get started on that. Okay, so whoever wins gets this big snowflake box and I'm gonna try and um, it's like the size of a, a smaller shoe box uh, let me see if I can get this up a little bit sorry look at my horrible desk space around it I've been doing too many videos and not cleaning up in between so um, like, we know I have basketball size hands so these are this is a big box and then um, it says tis the season love it and then here's a re really beautiful note from um, Lisa I hope that whomever is the recipient of this box gets as much joy from it as I did creating it. this is a holiday theme box which contains lots of sparkle and color I've included stringing materials and some findings so you can jump right in and create I've also included some gifting bags to share your creations thank you for subscribing to turquoise street that is so sweet of you Lisa and now I'm jealous because I don't know what's in here <laughs> but um, one uh, beautiful subscriber is going to win this beautiful gift from Lisa and to enter please make sure you're um, a subscriber to the channel that you like this video and that you leave a comment below telling me what you would make using the items in here would they be for gifts uh, would they be to keep for yourself and what you would make um, okay so let's get started all right, so here are the beautiful organza bags. Look, they've got little um, snowflakes, silver snowflakes on them. Oh my gosh, look what's in this box. Oh my gosh, there's so much going on. Okay, so I'm gonna take the box, put it off to the side, and then we'll go through it. Okay, so we already saw the organza bags, and obviously everything that's in the, you know, these organza bags, you're gonna get these as well. So there is some soft flex in satin silver really great wire um, this must be the stringing and be, uh, wire section so we have some Eslon cord we have some metallic leather Ooh, so these would be really good for some of the bracelets I've been making lately um, so you can make along um, in copper like a bronze color a silver bright gold those are wonderful um, we've got a suede lace piece uh, in black and brown and then two colors of memory wire that is enough to get you started making several different types of pieces oh my gosh okay next I'm seeing a tassel assortment Let's see what's going on in here and I'm not going to open these tassels because then it won't be nice and pristine when you receive them. But we have a beautiful rainbow of thread tassels, about three inches long. And then another rainbow assortment of tassels with a um, metal topper. Very nice. I'll just open it up really quickly so you don't see the glare. Several different colors. Wonderful. Next we have, let's see what's in here. Oh, we've got um, a uh, copper, couple copper uh, toggles 
little flower toggles. Then we've got some bead caps. Oh, very, very nice assortment. Different gold bead caps. And what are these? Just a bunch of different types of rings. Oh, I love rings. I don't use them as much as I should. Ugh, look at that. It's a wonderful different assortment. Look at these. So cool. So cool. And then soldered clothes. Those are perfect. Those are amazing. Okay, next we have, oh my goodness, this looks like all stones. Let's see what's going on in here. Oh my goodness, I might have to, to steal this. <laughs> Just kidding, I would not do that. Um, we have, tw what are these, 10 or 12 millimeter? Uh, mukite with some beautiful oh look at the purple and the yellow on that one I just love yellow mukite the most then we have some fancy jasper in 12 millimeter yeah this is 12 millimeters so that must be 10 we have some red creek jasper wow that's really pretty coins um oh citrine wow that's one of my favorites it's a really pretty really pretty and then um, we have some focals here oh are these I think these are just like um, uh, specimens not specimens but you know like uh, pieces for you like worry stones those are nice so we have rose quartz and agate you could glue um, a uh, bale to this. You could wire wrap them too. And I think maybe this is a venturing. Lovely. And then we have a beautiful bogle. I don't know really what that is. It's gorgeous though. I love that color. Um, onyx, faceted rounds. Funny. Um, when I say flower and when I say round, I, I my Midwest comes out. Uh, I sound like um, what's his name? Um, Owen Wilson when he says, "Wow, <laughs> look at these, look at these rounds." <laughs> sorry, I'm I'm sorry. I'm a goofball. It's a weekend. Um, carnelian. Oh my gosh, you guys know I love car carnelian. Those are gorgeous. Look how pretty those are. These are some nice beads. Beautiful. And then we have really some peridot. It's really pretty. Oh, these are cute. Cute little babies. Those are lovely. And then Garnet. Yeah, she's hitting all the birthstones here. Oh, love those. Um, you could make a bracelet kind of like the one that I made for Halloween with the with the skulls on it. Love those. And what do we have here? Labradorite. So yummy. So yummy. Well, now you have a similar set. Now you'll have a similar set to what I used in that um, that la that. Uh, bracelet set because I use Labr Labradorite and Garnet and then yummiest save the yummiest for the last oh my gosh <gasps> look at these pearls I'm officially jealous okay so we've got some some glitter going on these this is from the bags I am officially jealous this is so pretty I love and freshwater pearls oh we've got some beautiful coins And brown and look at the purple look at that it's not purple it's just the neck the nacre but oh my goodness those are gorgeous and then another strand these are beautiful and that one almost looks like a face these are gorgeous oh dropping them wow Lisa you have such an amazing collection and then I think this one got pushed over the side we have a sodalite um, little donut 
So cute. So cute. All right, let me put those away. Those are beautiful. Oh my goodness. Next, we have a huge metal bag. By metal bag, I mean the beads in it are metal. Oh my goodness. All right, so we've got some little metal um, cylinders. Those are kind of cool. I bet you you could also use those as like crimps because you could squish them onto leather or cord or something. Oh, these are cool. I've never seen this shape before. They're almost like egg shapes. Those are awesome. Beautiful. Those will look great just as a focal on a, like a gemstone bracelet. We've got a, several different types of spacers. My goodness. I don't know if you are going to be able to tell me what you'll do with all this. This is just an amazing amount of beads. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh, these are pretty. Corrugated, which is exactly what I was about to call them before I read that. Really pretty. I'm seeing t we're in a bracelet challenge right now. Tons of bracelets. <gasps> little birdies. OMG, those little birdies are so cute. <gasps> so cute. I love those. We've got some like four, four or five millimeter uh, bronze spacers, um, some silver spacers, um, some more metal beads, love that, oh, some noodle beads, can use those as um, a barrel knot. Ooh, these are nice some chonkies. Very chonky. Those are some nice beads. Some I don't I don't think they have a pattern really other than well there's a little bit of a pattern on them. Lovely. And then we have some gunmetal spacers. What's this? This is uh, Earthly Adornments. Um, and I'm not going to open this because I don't have a way to close it back up. So it's just some fluted corrugated beads and bicones. Um, oh my goodness. Some ovals. Some ovals with little flowers on them. We've got some stardust um, or brushed metal gold beads. We've got some more of those corrugated beads, but in gold. And we've got a couple more things in here. Oh my goodness. So we have some larger antique brass spacers. And then looks like some filigree beads in several different colors. So we've got um, antique brass. I used to use those all the time. Like literally one out of every two things I sold had beads like that on them when I was making jewelry back in the 2010s. <laughs> and then we have um, silver filigree in a couple different sizes. And then we have gold filigree in a couple different sizes. Gorgeous. Next we have this one. I just love these bags. They're so colorful. Oh, is this the piece she handmade? Yes. Okay, so she sent me, I 
I'm really upset, <laughs> but I'm not really upset. I'm very sad that this is going to somebody else. <laughs> it's so beautiful. She hand stitched all of this. Look at these beads around that beautiful cabochon. Oh my gosh, such a gorgeous necklace. We've got this beautiful silky tassel that she beaded. And then it looks like we have capture chain leading up to the back. Lisa's so talented, look at this. Just take that in. So this is going to the lucky winner as well. My goodness, so talented. And then we have, looks like glass pearls, glass beads and pearls. So, oh, yep, and these are definitely more holiday themed. Oh, beautiful, those look like candy. I wanna eat them. <laughs> It's my birthday weekend, so I'm gonna eat some candy. Not that I wouldn't anyway. <laughs> I'm a candy monster. Um, oh wow, what are these? Eight size eight metallic gold triangle Japanese seed beads. Oh, I'm gonna have to find these. Fusionbeads.com. Okay, I'm gonna have to find some of these. Oh, sorry, you will be minus one bead because it just went flying. I'm so sorry. But look at those. Those are so cool. I envision me using these a lot as spacers oh my gosh i love these i'm gonna have to find some okay and then we have um some red frosted glass like a cranberry color we have some blue glass rounds my goodness they're just gonna be making for years out of this kit and some red uh opaque glass rounds it's a good red that's like a hollyberry red and then we have some glass pearls so we have white these are nice glass pearls too. No scratches on those babies. And then we have green and silver. And it looks like we have eight millimeter and six millimeter. Beautiful. Okay, we still have quite a bit to go. I mean, she did not skimp on this kit. Oh my gosh, what's in here? I love making these kits. So I know I can kind of feel the joy she got making it, out of making this. All right, so, oh my gosh, it's crystals. It's crystals. Okay, so let's see what's in here. Oh my goodness, look at that. These are beautiful. I love this shape. They're almost like a chevron shape. They're triangle. <gasps> Gorgeous, um, small, clear AB. We've got a purple. Oh, look, at the f look at how shiny those are. And we've got some green glass, some faceted, some not. Beautiful. You can see some earrings out of those those green uh, pear-shaped briolettes. And we've got a red and crystal AB uh, set. Beautiful. My goodness, look how it's so shiny. <laughs> I can see some crystal ornaments being made out of that. Oh, and she wrote vintage on this one. Oh my gosh, these are gorgeous. They're like semi opaque. OMG, those are beautiful. Those look like gemstones almost. <gasps> I want to keep them. <laughs> Just kidding. You will get them. I promise. <laughs> um, and then we have a couple different colors. We have a yellow and a pink. How pretty those are. Little briolettes. Oh, these look like citrine though. Oh my gosh. I love citrine so much. Okay. Oh, I lost a bead. Oh, here he is. I want to make sure you get all your beads. Okay, and then we have um, some crystal bicones, crystal AB, those are great for bead weaving, which I don't do, but if you do, then I want to see what you make. <laughs> I always want to see what everybody makes, no matter what. These are gorgeous. Um, some crystal AB rounds, I don't really want to take them out because I want them to stay in there like that, but oh my gosh, look how sparkly. So sparkly. Those remind me, for some reason, of my childhood. Like my grandmother, it just seems like this is, she would have this all over her house during Christmas or something. Um, we have yellow rondelles and then more, oh, this is like one of my favorite colors of 
crystals, that black purple, but this one has half like metallic on it. It's a really cool shape. It's like that English cut shape. Okay. Then we have, oh my gosh, look at these. I have two like this. Just really gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh my gosh, look how shiny those are. So yummy. We have um, more crystals. We have them in green and blue. I'm not gonna take them out because it was a, a lot of work, but they're the same as the pink and yellow. My goodness, oh, there's more. It's like the gift that keeps on giving. So we have um, red in that really cool shape. Wow. And then we have purple and a darker purple, like a smoky purple in those uh, crystal briolette shapes. Gorgeous. That, that bag would be great for just a giveaway by itself. My goodness. Next we have, this bag's pretty heavy. Let's see what's in here. Chain? Chain and charms oh, okay so we have some silver chain very nice make a nice chain you can make a nice cha-cha bracelet with that chain I like that chain I don't think I have any like that and then we have gold chain which would also be good for cha-cha bracelets or necklaces or keychains or something and then charms my goodness let's see what's in this bag oh my gosh so we've got a lot of hearts we've got some crosses um a little shoe <laughs> another cross those are fun um oh, a little toy mouse oh my gosh if you're into disney that would be super cute more crosses are great for the holidays a gnome is this really a gnome <gasps> it's a gnome I don't have a gnome anywhere my goodness find joy in the journey and like a little tag that says the made with love and some more hearts and a crown that's a cute little mix that gnome blew me away I have never seen a gnome charm <laughs> I love it and then we have another charm mix. Oh my gosh, Lisa, you're amazing. You are absolutely amazing. We have a Merry Christmas charm, a little rhinestone, and it's double-sided. That is awesome, perfect for bracelets. Um, we've got some enamel charms, bells and trees. <gasps> Look at this little guy, I wonder if Lisa made this. That's so cute. Little angel. We've got more trees. Beautiful snowflake. I've never seen a green red snowflake. <laughs> then we've got um, a, a, like a sucker or an ornament. I think it's a balloon. It's either a balloon or um, like a piece of candy. We've got some mittens. We've got more bells. Oh, little Santa! I love him. This reminds me. Santa! I know him! <laughs> My one friend Marie says that every time. Little mittens. Um, a snowflake. That's a really pretty snowflake. More trees. Gosh, that's a really comprehensive mix. What is this? Oh, and it's a fairy? A little fairy, or you could be make her an angel. Another fairy, and she's got um, a spot for you to put a rhinestone in. A little bow bead. My goodness, you're going to get a really good mix. I mean, you can make like 20 bracelets out of this. I always go to bracelets instead of earrings because I don't wear earrings, but you could also make a bunch of earrings out of this too. Next, let's see what's in here. Got three more bags after this. My goodness, oh, there's a pendant. A little unicorn pendant. This is awesome. It's pretty big. That's a pretty hefty pendant. This is awesome. And you can also use it as a bracelet bar too if you wanted to and hook it over here lovely it's a pegasus right because it has wings um we've got a little tinkerbell my goodness three of them pendants beautiful you can make some um 
really huge earrings out of those, but I was thinking maybe a necklace or an ornament with those. Maybe for baby's first Christmas or something. And then a really nice pendant. So this was the pendant bag. That's gorgeous, I would patina this. Beautiful. And then, um, what do we have in here? Oh, Crystal Passions. Um, they, they who shall not be named, authorized reseller. So um, it's a starfish pendant. My goodness, it's so sweet. I'm not gonna open it because it's sealed. But it's such a beautiful little crystal peach color and then we've got some antique silver clasps got a couple different silver clasps so there's one and then these I love these those look vintage to me I love them I, if they even if they're not vintage I, they look vintage and let's see what's in this baggie oh we've got some keychains so you can make some giftable keychains lovely and if you are if you want to extend them you can use this part separately and this part but I think they look really nice together and then the last bag looks like it has some check glass in it oh my goodness oh my goodness Lisa you spoil us um let's see oh my gosh well I'm glad I saved this one for last I didn't even do it on purpose it's my favorite bag oh my gosh look at this big bee oh my goodness gorgeous although you know I'm, I get the heebie-jeebies about bees so worst fear unlocked there um, we've got some beautiful a uh, crystal AB leaves gorgeous We've got some, I don't know the name of these, but they're table cut with uh, Picasso. Lovely blue. Some daggers. These are awesome. They're mint and red with a silver luster or silver Picasso, something going on. That is so cool. I love that color combo. Some silver and black little daggers. Some tulips, which is my favorite flower. Actually, I have a video that I filmed where I got these and I haven't even posted it yet. <laughs> my goodness. Um, some green leaves. couple different colors of green very cool some red um, trilobites gold wash um, and then we've got these are definitely Christmassy lovely I don't think I have those And some red and uh, opaque. Those are really pretty. I want those. Those are really pretty. They look like poinsettias. Okay, and then we've got um, some camellia, camellia flowers in a couple different colors. Well, three different colors. Those are gorgeous colors. I love this color. So pretty. And then, um, oh my gosh, there's just so much going on. And then... We've got some table cut red glass. We've got some more table cut red glass. Love those. I don't have them. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then some tulips in a pale purple with the AB. 
Guys, can you believe that I'm still going through beads? It's been like 20 minutes. This is crazy. And then all of these uh, check strands, like whoever gets this is gonna be spoiled, but you deserve it. And I just wanna say thanks again to Lisa because you're amazing. Um, okay, so we have some pony beads in red. We've got some um, rondelles. I love these, they're olive with stripes. Oh, I love these. Jet Picasso, or Jet Luster. Oh my gosh, look at these little baby blue flowers. I need them. These are so cute. I love that blue. Some blue ovals. Some um, Crystal AB Fire Polish. Some like Cobalt Melons. Definitely a good color palette for Christmas. A pale blue AB. These are gorgeous. I really like those. Those are very sparkly. A mint with AB. Another crystal AB, but this is an eight millimeter instead of six. This is cool. I don't have these. They're like green Picasso. Some crystal with a gold wash flowers. Um very light, like a champagne -y color with an AB. These are gorgeous. Some Drucks. I think they're more of a brown than a red. Some Bicones. These are like a smoky color. Uh, regular Picasso. I, I have these and I haven't shown them in a video yet. Um, these are like a two color blue, like clear, clear and blue, matte. And then these beautiful little flowers. Oh my gosh. So whoever wins this box, um, you are just about to be spoiled. So to enter, again, you need to be a subscriber of my ch channel and to like this video. And I'll check. I'll ask you to send me a, a screenshot showing that you're subscribed. And then um, in the comments, let me know what was your favorite thing and what would you make with some of these items uh, it, that Lisa is so generously giving to our nine thousand subscriber giveaway winner thank you to everyone everyone out there who watches my channel whether you subscribe or not i really truly appreciate you and i hope you have a fantastic rest of your day um i've been saying this for a long time but 10,000 will be bananas the giveaway for that one um we're at i think 9,260 right now so 65 maybe um yeah, stay tuned for Goldie. She's super cute, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your weekend. Bye-bye. Hi, cutie. Can we show everybody your collar? Yeah. Look at how pretty it is. You're such a f styling little girl, high fashion. Say thank you, Lisa. We love you. Yeah, we do, right? Yeah. Happy weekend.